Hi viewers, today I'm going to be showing you how to test the IACV valve and we're going to be using the Autel Maxi Pro MP808TS which is a bi-directional scan tool to run an active test on the idle air control valve. It's also been called several other names like the idle control valve or the idle control actuator or the idle air control actuator. Now to be clear, I don't have a check engine light. This is basically to demonstrate that sometimes a part may not have reached the necessary threshold for the ECM to trigger a code but yet it's operating below optimal values. This is a test that you can use especially when you suspect that your IACV valve is not working well but you don't necessarily have a check engine light. Now the IACV valve is very important because it helps you maintain a good idle speed especially when loads are applied to the vehicle. So when this is bad you would have symptoms. In bad cases you would have the car stalling especially when you put on heavy power accessory devices like your AC and other stuff like that. As I mentioned I don't have a check engine light but I do have some level of slight vibration and I'm going to be using a vibration measurement meter to measure the degree of vibration that I have in the car both at idle and when I turn on accessory devices. I'm going to demonstrate this before we go ahead to conduct the active test. Now let's get this. As mentioned, I'm now going to turn on the car so that we get a sense of the degree of vibration that we're having in the car. I'm using a vibration measurement tool so that we're objective about our observations and also this serves as a baseline to which I would compare level of vibrations after the IACV valve has been cleaned. So I'll go ahead to start the car. I should say I had started the car previously, so the idle should settle at about 800 to 750. So and as you can see from here on the vibration tool, it's largely less than 0 0.1. And this is with no load applied. And you can see in terms of the intensity, it's really moving between very slight vibration felt by only some people and a bit of detectable only by instruments and also feeling moderate shaking. We'll go ahead to turn on the AC and see what effect that has on the idle. So I just turned on the AC. The pattern has become more coarse. We're now at 0 0.4 and the intensity has settled at feeling moderate shaking. So to add more load I'll go ahead to put the car in reverse. Not so much difference. 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Still on feeling moderate shaking. I'll put it into neutral and then into drive. 0 0.4. Again, RPMs is steady. Back to park. AC off and it goes back to 0 0.1 so that's our baseline I'll now go ahead to run an active test on the IACV valve using the Autel Max Pro um, click diagnostic function select the Honda select diagnosis So we're going to go to active tests. Idle adjust. No, that's not IACV test. So that's what we want to do. Activate the IACV valve in four stages. Diagnostic tool monitors the engine speed at each stage and compares it to ECM PCM command. It is normal for each. Da, 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 da. All right. Turn the engine off. Turn the ignition on. Waiting for connection. Turn off all electrical devices, center the steering wheel. Yep. All that's done. Do not move the steering wheel during the test. Okay. Start the engine. So the scan tool is adjusting the idle or the RPMs as required. So it's testing the first stage. Okay, 
Okay, so it's okay at step one. It says press OK to continue. So it goes to step two. All right, so it says IAC system failure, possible failures, yeah, sticky valve, air bypass trouble, replace IAC valve. So my money is on a sticky valve, right? My car is over 255,000 miles. I've never cleaned the IAC V valve. So after I clean this, I'm going to perform this test again and let's see what efficiency we gain. That's going to be the subject of my next video, how to clean the ISCV valve. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you on the next one.